This is Toby the Tram, and I'm not really sure where I'm at with my Toby facts, so I made this my opportunity to break down what variants were made for prototypes and first edition Tobys. Toby is a tram that goes on adventures with his coach Henrietta. Oh, that's right, we're doing that next week. They only made one variant for 1993 Toby, but is that true? Today we are here to find out once and for all, and let's see how Toby evolved. Just like how us humans and chimpanzees used to share the same ancestral roots, Toby, Annie, and Clarabelle was once a happy family. If we take a closer look, the body of conceptual Toby is identical to Annie and Clarabelle. One main difference you'll notice is the cow catcher and the chassis. They utilized the regular chassis, machined off the sides, and glued the front and the back. They fully colored the chassis, cow catcher, and even the black wheels gray. Or you can say they primed it gray. Roy Wilson once said to me that he used to use light gray rust-oleum satin to prime the 1992 Thomases, and I believe this is one prime example. The not so long after, the man, the myth, the legend was born, also known as the official six-wheeled Toby from the pamphlet. Key feature behind this Toby is that the face is made out of putty, different graphical designs, but also the cow catcher is what makes it unique. It has a steeper angle, the magnet locations are different, and front and back of the cow catcher has 10 protruded lines while regular Toby only has 8. Also the color of the cow catcher is more closer to charcoal and it has a glossier finish to it. After going through different designs, Toby finally finalized on its shape. From a handmade wooden cow catcher, it evolved into a plastic cow catcher for intricate details. With that in mind, the assembling process for Toby is a bit different than the other trains. The chassis needs to be glued without the magnets in order to fit in, so technically the magnets and chassis are separated for Toby and Mavis's. Do you guys remember Sam? If not, welcome to the channel and check this video out. Also subscribe because we are doing Thomas giveaways every 1000 subs and the scale of our giveaways are going to get bigger and bigger as we grow. But ever since that day, Sam has been trying to murder me. First attempt, he was like, Bro, you gotta dry scoop your supplements. And so I did. <coughs> <laughs> then the next day, he was like, yeah, let's go on a run. Sam almost got me there. Then the day finally came for Sam. It was after a workout, we were heading down to the sauna. Just a few more minutes. I think Juan's dead. Juan, it's time. Wake up. Come on. We killed him. And that is how Red Wheel Toby came to be. Happy Halloween. Sorry guys. In all honesty, I don't have any background info on why this might be red, but it has all the 1992 production line features except for the fact that it has red framings for the magnets and that is all I know. Now did we say there were only one variant 1992 Toby? Well I'm here to prove you wrong and in order to explain we will talk about the roofs, graphics, and the cow catcher. I have a pop quiz for you guys. What do you think is the first edition among these three trains? I'll give you guys a second. Yep, that is right. The single staple Toby is the first edition and there are two reasons. First we see drastic color differences on the roof. The other ones are closer to dark gray while this one in particular is lighter. Now which roof came first? Well based on this concept model we can safely say that the wider roof was the first edition. To support this hypothesis, Toby's and Mavis used one staple to stick the chassis and body together during their first run. Mavis has single staple only on the correct door with skinny stacks while Toby has single staple only on the wider roof. Toby decals. I could be hallucinating but I believe Toby had different color decals. Look, it's different. There are three to four variant decals for Toby in my books. Dark brown, orangey brown, musky brown one and two. Now what came out first? Obviously red magnet and the single staple seem to be the muskier side so those first. Under the assumption our first hypothesis was accurate of course. But what comes next? Just a guess, but I think it's the dark brown variant. 
It's just like how my first few thumbnails for my video sucked. It looks horrible because the saturation and vibrancy was not adjusted. Similarly, I think Toby was going through the same phase of adjusting what was better. Also, this orange-brown vibrant Toby came in the blue box, which indicates that it is a later variant because earlier versions usually come in the green box. Now, could it be because of the sunburns from the vinyls over time? Absolutely, that could be the case too. I don't know. Cow catchers. There are numbers underneath the cow catchers and it is either 2 or 1. Now, I realize these don't have any particular patterns to it. It is random and this could mean many things. It could be the tooling number or it could be the location number. But besides from the number, the shape, dimension, surface finish are identical for the cow catchers in general. Six wheel Toby. This is a Toby from none other than Roy Wilson. According to Roy, he says it's a 1992 prototype, but I think he might be confused with another Toby. I believe this was a prototype for 1994, and this is why. First, the body resembles the 1994. This Toby utilizes the 1992 face, but also has a 1994 magnets and 1994 wood on it. How do you differentiate the magnets? 1992 had smoother bevels on the sides, while the 1994 has sharper bevels on the edge, and also has circular marks on the center. As for the wood, you can tell they used Douglas fir for both of them. For a short period of time, Thomas Wooden Railway transitioned from Canadian maple oak wood to Douglas fir. An easy way to differentiate them is by looking at the wood grain. You can see that the grains on the woods are different than the 1992's. Now why do I think it's a prototype? First, the body of the Toby is longer. The graphics on 6 wheel Toby has 10 wooden boards stacked, while the 1994 only has 9. And I guess it has 6 wheels too. To sum everything up, Toby was modeled after Annie and Clarabelle. Over time, they doubled the staples for stability and saturated the graphics to get it to pop up more and that is how Toby was born in the world of Thomas Wooden Railway.